A model estimates that at the end of each year from 2015 to 2020, the number of squirrels in a population was 150% more than the number of squirrels in the population at the end of the previous year. The model estimates that at the end of 2016, there were 180 squirrels in the population. Which of the following equations represents this model where N is the estimated number of squirrels in the population T years after the end of 2015 and T is less than or equal to five? There's a lot to unpack here. And when it says a model estimates, this is not talking about, you know, like runway models. This is talking about a mathematical model. Okay, so 2015 to 2020. And they're giving us the number in 2016. It says at the end of 2016, there were 180 squirrels. And also says the population is 150% more than the number of squirrels at the end of the previous year. Well, we'll look at my my options here because especially with these with their with the word problems I always think it's a good idea to look at your multiple choice answers if you're having a little problem wrapping your head around what they're asking it can get you pointed in the right direction so what do you see I see 72 is used twice and the difference here is whether I'm multiplying by 1.5 or 2.5 and then I see 180 used twice and the difference being multiplying by 1.5 or 2.5 so I'm like okay so now I know I either need to figure out if I'm starting with 72 or I'm starting with 180. Because when you have these exponential functions, that's what it is. The number that's the coefficient out there is the base number, the number you're starting with, the number of squirrels in this case that you're starting with. That 1.5 or 2.5 is going to be the increase per year, how much you're multiplying by to get the number of squirrels for the next year. And T is going to be the number of years. For example, if I said I started with 100 squirrels and then it was a 10% increase, so I would multiply by 1.110 or 1, and use that either way, 1.1 uh, or 1.10, it means the same thing. So it's a 10% increase because you have that the base of 100 and then you're adding 10% more. And then the next year you'd multiply by 1.10 more. And the next year you'd multiply by 1.1 more. So since you are multiplying so many times for so many years, whether you're squaring it, cubing it to the power of four, etc. That's why that number of years becomes the exponent. It's like, oh, two years, I multiplied it twice. Ah, I can just write that as to the power of two, two years. That's where this is coming from. So our question we first need to ask is, are we starting at 72 or are we starting at 180? Well, at the end of 2016, there was 180, but they want to know the model that starts at the end of 2015. So even before I've done the math, I know it's not going to be 180 because there were fewer squirrels in 2015. So I know C and D are out. I know that 2015, there were 72 squirrels. Now, they have given you a huge boost right here. They really have. Uh because sometimes when you look at this percent, like saying it's 150% more, it can be confusing to say, okay, what do I multiply? Do I multiply by 150%, which would be 1.5? Do I need to add one to that? What do I need to, mm, it, it can be tri tricky and it can trip you up. I get it. So here, by them only giving us the options of 72, or 180, and since we know we're starting in 2015, a year earlier when there were fewer squirrels, we know it can't be 180 as our beginning number. It has to be 72. You don't really have to know how to do the increase by 150%. You don't have to worry about getting that wrong because all you have to do is say 72 times what equals 180. What did they multiply by that first year to get from 72 to 180? So 72 times our unknown, our X equals 180. We can just divide that in our calculator and it is 2.5. X is 2.5. So right now I know my answer is B. I had to multiply by 2.5 to get to 2016. I multiply by 2.5 again to get to 2017. And so that's the... Honestly, that's the shorthand and the way to confirm that it's right because they've given you the starting point, essentially, because you know 180 can't be it. So they've told you the starting point is 72. And then you just have to go, OK, what do I multiply 72 by to get to 180? So they're, they're really helping you out with those answers. 
if this was a question where you didn't have those um, options there, or if they were a little more varied, the way that you would get this is an increase of 150%, 150% or 1.5, 1.50, same thing, is being added to that 72. They're not asking you what is 150% of 72. They're saying I started with 72 and then I added 150% of 72. So this is one whole number and this is 150% of that number. So it is one plus 1.5. So that is 100% of the value plus 150% of the value gets you your final Value. So each year it is the total is 250% of the original, or you can say that as 150% more than the original. Again, that can be confusing and it can be easy to get tripped up. That's why I say here, just once you figure out that 72 is a starting and just go, okay, what do I have to multiply to get to 180? Is a really quick, simple way using your calculator to confirm it's 2.5 that's my answer and move on. If this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.